Uh, this video, I want to investigate the use of the dollar symbol in Excel. Uh, it can be very useful at times, uh, and it's a way of, of changing one of the natural tendencies, uh, properties in Excel when this property gets in the way of doing a calculation. In order to illustrate this, I am going to make a 12 times table in Excel. So let's, let's try to do this. Okay, across the first column here, I'm going to put in the numbers 2 down to 12. So I'm putting in 2 and 3 into the first two, actually into row 2 and row 3. Now I click on 2, shift click on 3, and then drag down until row 12. So there are the numbers 2 through 12. Up on top, I want to do something similar. Put in 2, put in 3, click, shift click, and then drag across here to 12. Okay, now I want to fill in here a 12 times table. Now we know that uh, to put a formula in Excel, so I want to put a formula for 2 times 2 into this block right here. So I put equal. And I click 2 times 2. So I click the numbers in the top row and first column. Equal, and that gives me 4, as I would expect. Now, if I were going to take this and drag it down, watch what happens. These numbers are obviously not the numbers that would fill in the times table. Why? Because what's happening, well, this is this number times this number. Right here, we look at the formula, we have B2 times A3. A3 is a 3, but B2 is the number 4. I want the number that goes in here to be 2 times 3, not 4 times 3. So how do I make this happen? Okay, so let me go back here and just delete whatever is in these columns there. Okay, now here I have the formula is B1 times A2. If I'm going to drag this formula down, I always want it to be this number that is in the appropriate row times the number that is in cell B1. So I always want to be multiplying by cell B1. Now as I drag down here, I'm automatically going to be in cell B, but I'm not always multiplying times B1. So when I drag here, this formula isn't B1, but B2. So how do I make it so I always get B1? Well, I go back up here where I have B1 times A2, and if I put a dollar sign, a dollar symbol in front of the one, when I drag this formula down, it will always be B1 as I drag it down. Now something similar happens when I take this and if I were to drag it across these columns. Now here, if I drag this like this, I have 2 times 3 is what I want, but again, I'm getting 4 times 3. Why? Because I'm getting C1, which is correct, but it's multiplying B2, here's B2, instead of A2. So, over here where I have A2, I want to put a dollar sign in front of the A, because I want to keep the A as I drag across the columns. Now, when I go here, 
Notice I have a dollar sign in front of the 1 in B1, in front of the A in A2. And now when I drag across this way, I get 2 times 3 is 6. And the formula here is now C1, this number, times A2, this number. It's the correct formula. And if I want, then I could take this whole thing and drag all the way across there. And indeed, I have 2 times 12 is 24, 2 times 11 is 22. I'm getting the right numbers. Now suppose I click here and then shift click here. So I'm selecting all of those numbers there in that row. Now I can take this entire row and drag down here. And if you check these numbers, you see it is indeed filling in the correct numbers. The formula for this cell should be 9 times 8. So it should be A8 times I9, A8, okay, right here. And this is I8. I1, right up here, okay, right up here, right? I said I9, but I should have said I1. So in this way, now I am filling in all of the correct formulas in the cell, but the only way I can make that happen is by using the dollar symbol to keep values from incrementing in the natural way that Excel wants to increment. So. Let me just examine the natural way that Excel wants to increment here. Let me fill in this times table, but without using the dollar signs. So I'm going to go back up here, shift, and then shift click, delete that whole thing. Now I'll go back to what I originally had. I'll put equals, and I'm going to put equals 2 times this 2. So that number is right. I have A2 times B1. Now I take this and drag it across. And what's happening, for example, in this cell, I'm getting K2 times L1. L1 is right, but K2 is this number times 12 as opposed to this number times 12, which is because Excel is automatically incrementing and updating the formulas as I drag along here. It's always taking the number here, multiplying the number there. The number here, multiplying the number there. The number here, multiplying the number there, and so on, which is why I'm getting the wrong answer. Now I can take this whole thing here, shift click, and drag this down. And wow, I'm just really getting some outrageous numbers here. Something 5.9 times 10 to the 221. So because of the Excel's always wanting to follow that original pattern, uh, I'm getting the wrong answers. And in some cases, I don't want it to follow the original pattern. I want it to keep a reference to be the same even as I move across into multiple cells. So that is the function in use of the dollar sign symbol uh, in Excel, and it's an important thing to remember.